All right, I'm getting spotted here. I'm throwing bunker on the beach, and uh, a lot going on. But no telling what we're going to get today. Uh, definitely, I'm going to be some big stuff out. We're gonna, I'm going to work a little light, and then I'm going to go up a little bit, throw some the heavy tackle. Um, definitely should be sea robins, fluke. There's been bluefish. I haven't seen any birds. Uh, bass are definitely around too. Uh, I don't know what they might be off picky on the bunker of the bass, but you never know. But uh, I've heard of some bigger blues. Maybe some bigger blue. Uh, definitely big stingrays, all kinds. Uh, cow nose, uh, bull nose, rough tails, Atlantic, uh, and whatever else. Look, and uh, definitely could be the way the water looks. Some definitely some toothy sharks or something like that. Uh, so there's no telling what we're going to get. So just going to work the water light and see what's out there and then go from here. Getting started here. And starting to go light. Right. And we got sea robins around it. Throwing bait on the beach. Yeah, there should be a lot of stuff out. So we're going to work through. Let's see what we get. One thing I don't, I don't like using wire for fluke at all. But so I'm going to stick with this monofilament for a bit. This seems to be a random event. And I'm going to go up to, this is a, uh, 50 pound and I might use 80 in a little, if I get bit off but I don't really don't like using wire for those when I'm looking for a bigger flu you'll get them but I think it decreases your chances for sure even for bluefish I prefer to use monofilament it is a long shank hook that's why we got them in He was the big fluke. They're all big. I might keep him for dinner. Alright, a uh, couple sea robins. Actually, I worked through the sandbar a little bit and I watched a few big rays uh, go through and came out. So I think I'm going to set up as to intercept the fish. They seem to be coming from my right to my left. So I'm hoping that they'll concentrate coming out when the water, maybe when it starts to come in, then I'll work inside again. So, we'll see. I'm pretty sure that's a small one. light stuff so I don't know if we're gonna get him in Let's see what he is oh we got one Tim
<laughs> Light setup. <laughs> So that was pretty wild. Um, five Ogamakatsu and uh, 50 pound mono. Had them like hooked like perfect. Uh, still looking to get that fluke. But uh, if these guys are around, I definitely might have to put on some wire because they're going to probably be biting us off. We've got a better shot at other fish. See, we get a bigger fluke. And I think some blues, big blues about here and there. That would be great to see. Um, they've been getting a lot of cocktail blues, but there's definitely fluke water. He's a keeper, we're going to keep him. I'm just keeping an eye on my leader, and that's still good. They're just bait fishing here. Uh, bunker bait, actually old bunker bait. Salted, frozen from previous trips. Uh, got down here. The sea robins, those blues all around, which is nice. And that's straight, straight shark. Um, definitely I saw some, yeah, wow. that bass? That's not a shark. That's... Is that a blue? Did you see it jump? I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't think that's a shark. That is a shark. That is one. And he got off. That was a shark. <laughs> yeah. You can see it right through my mono. We've got our fluke. He's short. About 
17. And so far we got fluke, bluefish, sea bottom, pesky sharks. All we need now is the striper. It's about uh, going to be getting dark soon, but a uh, really good day. Uh, bluefish, blue, sea robins, didn't pick out any bass, uh, a couple of pesky sharks, and that big crazy runoff. Pretty sure that was, that was, a, that was a big, big shark. Um, not rigged up for him, but uh, who knows. But uh, it was a good one. Bait fishing, bunker, old bunker.